All right, so what happens when a speedball company gets involved in an airsoft? Find out on today's Blue Line Battle Sports. All right, so for those of y'all that don't know, uh, HK Army is a speedball company. They've been in payball for years. They make great quality products. Uh, some airsofters right now are using their knee pads, elbow pads, and stuff for protection. They're full of face masks. They're nice. They have a whole new line. I mean, recently, what they did is they went ahead and they got an airsoft with their hostel line. Now, their hostel line has a couple of different products in it. Uh, they have a chest rig, a dump pouch, a belt, a backpack for HPA, and a pod pack belt, and then some other accessories that go with that. They also have a uniform, which really, looks really interesting. It got, they have a jersey and either straight leg or jogger pants, which look kind of comfortable, but being black, it's going to be a little hot. Then these magazines. I mean, $59.95 a mag. They're, they've lost their fucking mind. Even with the pull tabs on them, and those pull tabs are going for $29.95 a piece, the mags by themselves are $30 a piece. Man, you can, for like 80 bucks, you can get five Crytac mags. I would do that instead of this. This is just out. Recently, I picked up the chest rig, and that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. So anyway, the basic chest rig comes uh, pretty well set up. It's a very standard chest rig. It's got three magazine pouches in it for your AR magazines. Um, and it's, it's, it's actually very nice. You can see here on the screen. Um, I went ahead and upgraded mine a little bit, but I do want to talk about some of the things that I found while I was working with this. All right, so first off, the panel that you saw on the screen right here is removable. It's Velcro back. I'm not a big fan of this Molly weave pattern on it. it. It's it looks cool, but I mean it's not very functional. I try to put some stuff on there. It doesn't fit right. Uh, it's not even. I mean I guess they wanted to go catty corner. I'm not about to put my grenade pouches catty corner on my stuff. Just not. I don't like it. Um, so that's one thing. But underneath it, there is a Velcro area, um, but it's also got laser cut Molly in there, uh, and it's got a nice little strap as you can see here. That strap works fine. And I went ahead and put my grenade pouches on there. I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. Uh, then the bottom, I wasn't sure, because I like to have a dangle pouch on mine, uh, either for admin or whatever the case may be. On the bottom, um, I was worried at first, because I looked at pictures. All you got is nice backing here. And by the way, that is a very cool, a very comfortable backing. It's padded. It feels nice. But right up under here, you have this space in there. So if you have a dangle pouch, install a dangle pouch. So they have one uh, that comes with a backpack. Um, that's not, I mean, that's a $150 addition. If you want the HK admin pouch or dangle pouch, it is $150 to get the backpack. So you can take the pouch off the backpack, put the backpack in there. Personally, I don't use HPA at the moment. Uh, a lot of the fields around here don't have the, the refill capabilities and I'm not driving 45 minutes any direction to go get an air fill for a weekend so I can come out on a weekend. I just, I simply don't have the time to do it. Um, but what I've done is the dump pouch has these cool Velcro. It's got a Velcro closure on it once it wraps back around. And so for me, I put the dump pouch on there. Um, I had a bind HK dump pouch. I put the dump pouch on there. So that when I'm wearing this vest, and I'll show you all in a minute, everything's in my workspace. I don't have much of a problem with it. Now, as I said earlier, it comes with, or it has the ability to hold three magazines uh, for M4s. That's a removable pouch. Now, um, if you look back at the picture I showed you earlier with the battle belt, this actually will fit upside down in that battle belt, so you can have them there. All right, set up if you want, but it's not really a battle belt. It's more of a paintball harness. It's not really a battle belt at all. Um, but it does hold these magazines very well. The problem is, I bought mine for a setup for a submachine gun style gun. I bought it for a, a, a the KWO Iris Force. Um, it doesn't have that. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, doesn't have a way to do that. But inside, uh, it does have these pouches, so you can remove this. Replace with something or just use it as an admin pouch. That's what you want to do. But because there's so much Velcro in there, what I end up doing is I purchased um, the uh, pack from Speed QB. Uh, apparently, they only had them in blue, uh, which is fine. The magazines are blue, but it just simply slides right in there, Velcros down, zips back up around it, like so, and then re secures with some other Velcro straps. And now I can wear this for my submachine gun. Um, so that does work, but I gotta say, guys, HK Army, if you come across this video as a review on your stuff, man, y'all fucked up. Like, you should have went ahead and made the SMG pouches. There's just a lot of players out there that, you know, if they're, if they're running M4s, a lot of players want to go ahead and they want to do the whole, uh, Milsim aspect of it or, or, or whatever. And I mean, there's plenty of speed softwares that use M4s, but 
I mean, that's fine. You guys were more looking at Speedsoft. KWA is making Speedsoft style guns. Um, they have the submachine guns. Pistols are another big one. Those are pistol pouches. Like y'all could have made those. You missed out on, on, on an opportunity to make money. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, you really should have stopped and made that as an accessory. Hopefully y'all will in the future. Um, that would be a much needed addition, I think, to this set setup, especially since it's so modular. I also want to say other colors, guys. Other colors. Like, I get blacks like a speed soft S color, and that's what you're going for. But seriously, man, like just even simple Ranger Green and Coyote Brown, man. They could open this whole thing up to mill softers. You're missing out on a, a great opportunity to make money. Speaking of modular, the, the dump pouches, like I said, they attach this. The admin pouch from the backpack attached to this. The backpack can be threaded into the straps here. Uh, I'm actually tempted to see if I can get a hydro pack to thread into these. I like this addition right here. Um, they're a metal clip, but if you can find the right hydro pack or something, I, I imagine you could thread this through. Um, but I like this. I, overall, I like the pack. I don't have a problem with it, but let me show you all what I was talking about with the whole workspace. All right. Let's talk about my workspace. So everything's right here that I need. I have the ability to load. I grab my second magazine, unload. It's straight the dump pouch right here. I don't really have to come off of anything. I'm right here. If I have to go here, we take that straight in here. It's all right there. And then if I need to use grenades, these Condor pouches I bought that do hook with Molly, two pouches, hold two of the EG grenades. I have them right there. And everything is in this space right here. And in Florida, it's really hot during the summer. So as you can see, I'm not over sweating. I don't have a whole lot to do as far as like keeping cool. It's like it's not like wearing body armor, okay? And then of course, you know, if I'm in the last mag. Um, I do have a problem with this dump pouch. It's a little on the shallow side for submachine gun mags. So MP5 users, uh, vector users, Tekken users. You know, I mean, this is going to be a problem. I think running around. I haven't had a I haven't had a problem with it yet, but there's potential for it. I mean, as you can see, it's not. A super spacious dump pouch. There are better dump pouches on the market, but I want to get the HK one just to see how it worked with everything. Um, so that's why I have that. But uh, overall, I give the pack probably a B minus. It's not the best I've used. It is comfortable. It's lightweight. That's nice. It's breathable. I don't dislike the pack. I just think uh, the addition of submachine gun style pouches, um, the Molly spacing on here a little bit better. That that would make me happy. Um, cause as you can see, it doesn't hold the, the grenade pouches flush, uh, a deeper dump pouch. That would be nice. Uh, the addition to add the admin pouch without spending $150 for the backpack, that'd be fantastic. Um, but I, again, it would probably take another dump pouch. If that's what you wanted to use. Overall, I'm not a bad pack. HK could do a little bit more with it. Uh, I hope somebody from the, the company sees this video and go, oh yeah, maybe we could do a little bit more. So they're getting pissed off and I'm not like raving about the pack. But um, for $100, which is about the going price for this, um, you can get real ones on the market that aren't as modular. They don't have the Velcro. Uh, they don't have the ability to add pouches to the front. So it's better than some, could be better in some areas. But I'm looking forward to using this on the field uh, next weekend if it's not raining. But it's Florida, so you never know. But I think it's going to be a great addition to my summertime loadout. It's going to be lightweight. It's not going to make me sweat like my body armor or my vest do. Uh, so overall, I'm happy with it. Like I said, about a B minus. But uh, till then, uh, we'll see you out on the field. This is Dave with Blue Line Battle Sports. Have a great day.